things to give thanks to after 25 years, we sat today as people as the first servants of the guru ordained into the Panth Khalsa and we say thanks we have thanks to give in 25 years we created a human history that today everyone for a little this injury or little that injury falls apart. Modern civilization does tell. But we have great thanks to give to God and Guru that in the past 25 years we have set our grounds here and in the past 525 years we created a human history that when the war happened and the fight was at the same time and the both leaders had got slain the side sick reminded the sick Babaji, you promised that you will fight unto Amritsar. And the bleeding head said, put the head on the palm of my left hand. The body woke up and fight began. Is a recorded history in the enemy's code. The enemy left the field absolutely. We also give thanks today that we created a humanity that a man was boiled alive and read the whole Japji. We also give thanks to God and Guru that between two wooden blocks man was sawed in the center but the prana didn't leave till the sukhmani ended i can understand that people who follow and they have the religion and they might have read their stories and they might have said their things to look positive these are the records of those who are on the other side. That kind of human character, human facets, human faculty, human facility got created. We are thanks today to the God and Guru that when the governor said to Pai Taru Singh, Pai Taru Singh, we have tried our best, we cannot cut your hair. But I am only a governor, I am not a king, the orders are real. He said, well, take my scalp off. Do you what you do. We are grateful and thankful today that when the executioner wanted to cut the thumb of Pai Baba Bhai Mari Das, Pai Mani Singh, he told him there are three parts to it, not one. I'm not repeating these thanks because I'm just not telling you. I'm telling you the very fact of history, how painless we were. 
and how far we were as individuals in our depth and commitment. How innocent and how graceful we were, we never knew excuse. How infinite, wide and deep we were that we faced death and we smiled and smiled and smiled. That humanity we led. Today everybody might be falling apart of inner anger and inner neurosis. As we call it, Adam, and Eve, in the real vernacular language of those times, we'll call it Baba Adam and Mai Hava. In literal translation, we call it breath of life, Adam, breath of life come. Adam, Adam means breath of life. And Mai Hava, O mother of air. That's our whole humanity is based on. We are grateful that Guru Nanak said Akal Puruk. Guru Gobind Singh gave us the rahat to live it and today we are in one person. I feel personally that we will go through changes many times. And this is what the history has said to us many million years ago, that every trend flows, truth prevails, and the consciousness and the power of the man always leads the humanity to its grace. Our thanks from the bottom of our heart that the guidance of the Guru gave us the endurance, the character, the power of the forgiveness. Life of the gratitude. The attitude of service and standing out to serve for which we are grateful. This thanksgiving is not to roast a turkey. We are very grateful that this thanksgiving today is to save a turkey. It is a very powerful thing to understand life. When there is a negative, and doesn't matter from which quarter it comes, it is fanned by ego. It's a simple way of seek is very simple. Whenever there is a negativity, doesn't matter what, where it comes from, it is fanned by ego. Whenever wants, want, man wants to get out of it, he can only get out of it with his consciousness, which is positive path. And that's what Guru says and instructs us, for which we have thanks to give. That there's guidance there is with us forever. I fully understand in 25 years we are unable to come from the guilt of past Judo Christian teachings. We are not born in sin, we are born in the glory of God. We live in the grace of God. We dwell in the infinity of God for which we give our thanks 
that the hand of God guided us to this path. No man can take the responsibility of guiding us. It is the destiny which give us the strength and the guidance to walk this distance. This distance is very precious. This distance is very pure. This distance is very playersome for us. We in our consciousness can never say that we don't have a Guru. We can never say that we don't have a guidance. We can never say that we don't have a purpose. There are million things we cannot say. There's no mind which we are grateful, for which we It is surprising. Very shockingly surprising. Human mind sometime takes a human into a very negative, low grade side of it. We are very grateful that Guru gave us Chapji, gave us Chap Sab, gave us Ananda Sab to start our day. Rare us to close our evening. Kirtan Sola to give ourselves to God. For that care, for that share, for that compassion of the Guru, for that love and for that kindness and for being around us, whether we deserve it or not, whether we desire it or not, whether we deny it, still his kind, merciful words here, and we are thanks to our this modern age. All we have to put is stick a tape in the car and we can be in ecstasy, listening to Guru's words. And then we are very grateful to it. It's a musical rhythm. Its notes are very beautiful and carries us into the rhythm, the beat of our heart, for which we are grateful. Our thanks to the fact that at our age, comparatively and comparatively, if we went to the neurosis, we look beautiful. Our impact is far more and far better and very gracious. Our identity is outstanding and purpose of life is clear. And within our realm of love and consciousness, in spite of all the handicaps which are because of the subjection and objection of the surroundings, and the circumstances, and the old habits in the past, we are still walking together in the coziness, in the calmness, in the quietness, in the harmony of being one family of the Guru. Our thanks for it that we are Guru Bans. Our thanks that we are Guru's sons and daughters. Our thanks that with our denial, we are not denied. With our low grade, we are always exalted. We turn our back, Guru go around and turn his face towards us. We forget to do the prayers, he takes over. How many, how many aspects of you we can count? I was someday chanting on a mala and after 108 
beads came the guru bead and I kissed my mala the person who was with me he said you never do that no you you're kissing your mala is there something special done on you I said no I'm just kissing my guru hundred eight time I'm chanting this mantra and when it comes to the guru beads I have to be alert awake conscious and being myself that's why I'm kissing this guru bead the deep reminder that in my mala after 108 beads at least there's a guru bead in this world of ours which is very cutthroat selfish lovely maya but in reality it is very lonely guru lives in the shabad lives in our heart it is that most beautiful kiss is that flare of the moment is that brightness of the son and the father we don't have to go after death to be before god to see for ourselves what a heaven is we can create it here bakunth taha jahan tera naam seva japiye har har kaam heaven is there where sangat sits and meditates on the name and the identity of the vaheguru and works in that grace we understand that sometimes we feel very weak and sometimes there's a whole week we feel very weak but god is not weak guru is not weak I sometimes feel very funny that somebody in Brooklyn found out that he has created a big order of socks. I tell this story all the time. Father said to the son, What kind of business is this? You have made so many sacks. How are you going to sell it? Son looked at the face of the father. Saw his white-haired, flowing beard. Kept looking, and father said, "What are you looking at me for?" He said, "To sell the sacks." Came out with a cartoon of Santa Claus, which comes through chimney, and bring us the gifts. Now just remember on this Thanksgiving day, this is one identity called Santa Claus which take over the whole world. It has no temple, no priest, no written scripture. Every place is decorated, every place is celebrating, and every place is there. and on 15th of january this whole thing will disappear as it never happened because everybody has to check their checkbook and is going to find out where it hurts instead of socks coming out of the chimney people like to go themselves through the chimney but this facet of life is a identity a subtle identity a subtle ecstasy a subtle in russia a certain festivity a certain celebration which has no god no guidance nothing christianity try to connect it with saint nicholas and try to do anything they want to do but nobody could successfully in modern 1994 on the 24th day of november still every child in few days going to believe the reindeer is going to put the sled and run around in the sky 
without motor and going to go every house chimney and going to drop a socks full of gifts. And every pa parent is going to pay the rent and if they cannot have a Christmas tree, they are going to buy one or steal one or create at least the artificial one and they are going to put presents under it. Why so? Because there is a snow. The land is covered with purity. The whiteness is first renewal to cover his dirt. To which Guru Nanak said, Karmi Ave Kapada Nadri Mokhduar, Nanake Me Janiye Sabhapa Sachyar. Your action shall be covered with the purity of cloth and the door of liberation will be in your sight. And my personal feeling, I, I, I'm very grateful and thankful. I know we love colors and we, have, we show a lot of colors and our behavior is full of colors. And humans these days are so rainbow, you can never know what happened. But I sometime in my own little thought thinks when a person stands, pure satambar, we are satambars, pure satambar in total whiteness before the mirror, fully dressed up, decorated, and say hello or satnam to himself or herself. What a purity is that? It covers all, everything. There's nothing to it. You really want to look at it. And our thanks for Guru to provide us, the father of ourself, to Guru Gobind Singh, that that gaiety, that glory, that glow, at that glow, where he said, so long you will be in your excellence, you shall have my all power, all projection. There shall be no weakness. Our thanks today for that. When I look sometime at the picture of Guru Nanak, the innocence, the grace, the elderliness, the saintliness, and I'll say thank you for being my Guru. Thank you very much. I may deserve you or not. But you took me. Thank you. Our Thanksgiving day is every day. Every Ambrosial hour when a Sikh gets up and reads his Banis and does his Ardas and thanks, he gives his thanks. During the day when he holds himself in his Bana, in his behavior, in his benevolence, in his beauty, in his bounty, in his bliss, he gives thanks. In the evening when he reads his reras, does his prayer, calls on himself, and what deep thanks for the day job done. One day lived. And at night, when he closes his eyes and he does the kirti of the Guru, Jagar kirta kiya karte ka hai vichar. 
and closes his eyes lids and goes into his deep ecstasy and let god take care of himself is that surrender in gratitude with thanks with kindness for all this pattern and way of life we give our thanks i personally give my thanks today personally with all the knowledge which i acquire all the investigation which i made all the experiment i followed all the scriptures i studied all the powers i attained and achieved and practiced all the strength and superiority i understood i thank that day when under the guidance of guru ramdas i had the opportunity to clean and mop the floors of hari mandar and with that i am also grateful that it cleansed me mopped me out and brought me to be a human and i do feel there's no more beauty than just be a human as god made you and as god said and nanak said akal murat ajuni saib angur prasad beyond that what beauty can be what a joy can be what a virtue can be with all the titles and all the affirmations and all these phd's and all the professional successes and achievements and all what the history will record and people will say the enemy will say what a joy it was today thanksgiving when enemies and friends met together and broke the bread and said thank you when a man of heart can open up and can have no animosity but prayer has no territory but blessings has no understanding but the vastness when there's no faculties and facilities and cut corners then all that unison oneness exists between bad and good between enemy and friends between right and wrong between cruel and mercy it all becomes one and that character which opens ourselves to all that infinity what god is i say thanks and i pay my homage to that hostility that pain that treachery that betrayal that disgrace that insult which tested the path and still injured bleeding mercilessly weak uncertain not sure i still took another step and completed the another step and another step another step and in each step i saw i felt i understood my guru waqt with me exactly as it is said ang sang wahe guru i pay thanks 
I pay thanks for those who became my family when I had no family. And then I pay thanks to those who became Guru's family when I had no family. And we all became one unison family. Beyond pluses and minuses. Beyond any regard to the ego and to the culture and to the color. I pay my thanks. I pay my thanks to the fact that I learned when I was very young that its, ifs and buts I have no substitute for guts. I'm also grateful for the fact I learned right and wrong one should keep on playing one song. I also grateful to learn isn't the life that matters is the courage you bring. It's not how many tears you shed but how many songs you sing. How many lifetimes and how many where you walk and how many miles all it matters is with what grace you have smiled. I pay my thanks to that. I pay my thanks to this morning when I decided that we shall answer the call as being daughters and son of the call, we'll pay our homage and our respect. And I'm pay my thanks to those who questioned, doubted, commented, but still walked with me every step. I think, to conclude, life means nothing but pay thanks. That's the purpose of life. There's no reason for narrowness and shallowness, for complaints, but there's every reason for compliments and thanks. Today, I pay my thanks. When I came, I couldn't find a one picture of Guru Nanak. And today all around I see, within this family of the Guru, when I see people, painting, sculpting, little children drawing. I ask myself, thank you. Thank you for the day. Today I pay my thanks that all what we earned in the form of earth Richness and glory was back dedicated to the house of the Guru. So where it belongs, so from where it came. I am very thankful for that guidance, for this lesson of humility and respect for the lesson of courage and dedication. I am grateful. I am grateful 
to the enemies and to the friends of yesterday, today and tomorrow. And I'm grateful to each day when the journey is being walked, distance is covered and destiny is completed. With that many thanks and many more which I cannot count, I share with you this great day, this auspicious day. Attitude of gratitude is the glory of God. And service in humility is the story of God. For that wisdom, for those words, for that being a channel, I'm grateful, I'm thankful. I give my thanks. I give my thanks to fought with me bitterly to destroy me attacked me bitterly and took me by surprise. I am grateful to them. They alerted me to my faith. And I held the skirt of my Guru and walked through those dark days alone as one could be silent as one could be. And I'm very grateful to those who walked with me in that silence, in this darkness, cared, covering each breath of life, lived moment to moment, praying deeper and deeper. My journey is going to come and soon, My accounts are settled. I might have not lived to anybody's desire and ambition and expectation and estimation. But my gratitude, and I'm grateful that through the best of myself and God in me, I have tried to serve love and restores one's own courage and faith in one's own glory and godliness. It is my gratitude and my thanks when God guided that reality when I put that banner in God I dwell and it reminds me always my ultimate dwelling place. As this body is being scattered and shattered and weakened, as the desire is becoming desireless and environments are becoming enemies, but still, the great reminder of the house, the dwelling place, is a great relief. And with that relief and peace of mind, I say thank you and I give my thanks. And I hope <coughs> all of you here shall make it very convenient and easy on your life to walk that way. Firmly, clearly, keeping your face to the guidance of the Guru and make it possible. So when the end comes and breath of life leaves, you can easily say, Vahe Guru. That's the purpose. 
many of you are going to age and enter the maturity of life and relatives become only the takers and friends will only become the gossips and the circumstances become just questioning the very limbs of limbs of the body start refusing obedience within those moan lonely hours and moments of life i pay my thanks the one thing never leaves that's the consciousness the divinity the dignity the grace which guru has bestowed through experience of years to reach the abode the ultimate the final destiny of man for which i pay my thanks that with all your help and understanding and love and affection this journey was good it was clear it was conscious and i hope as far we breathe we'll be together a breath of warmth breath of harmony and peace of kindness and compassion and shall remember each other as friends as the relatives of the guru born in the same house under the same destiny and in that gratitude as we all will leave another will follow the values in that will find great love and will be very true to reach the house of god and say it was true what we read on the earth jinni naam te aaya gaye mushakkat kaal nanak te maku jile keti chutti na those faces will be bright beautiful and bountiful for which you and your generations and those who follow you shall always keep on paying thanks and that will be so much plus in the accounting of gods itself that you will have so much surplus to share here and hereafter in heavens that you can say then in a loud and crying voice why guru why guru why guru thank you for this auspicious day and for this sat sangat and for this love and friendship and for this comradeship for this journey and trust walking the path of the guru ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ
ਸਤਿਸ਼ਾਇ Das Sampat Shah Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj Sab Tai Hoi Sahai Das Sampat Shah Yandi Jyot Sri Guru Gobind Sahib Ji De Parthi Dar Dar De Andar Ke Khas Jeeva Sat Naam Sat Naam Sat Naam jump yari and chon sab zari and chali and mukti and hati jap ban chakai dega chalai tak bahi kita tinna pyari and sach yari di kamai dar di andar ke khas je ba je sat naam sat naam sat naam oh call so let us think of all of those who have gone us before us on this altar of sacrifice let us think of our dear sisters while clutching their children to their bosoms threw themselves in front of the indian army tanks to protect the sanctity of the city hari manar sahib all those known and unknown who have shared their lives to their last breath to their last bit of hair let us remember their sweet resignation khasa ji bolje satna Hail hail Guru Ramdas heal our teacher hail hail Guru Ramdas heal our teacher hail hail Guru Ramdas heal our teacher oh merciful beautiful bountiful blissful guru we have so many desires of thankfulness unto you this day however of all the gratitude that we have we have one especially to mention to you this gift that you have given us in gratitude of the gift of our teacher Thank you for the inspiration that he has given us the strength. Thank you for the encouragement, the nurturing, the nourishing that he has provided to all of us in every facet of our lives and every facet for every life for every generation to come. We thank you that you please allow us to share that gratitude that we may carry the burden of this Khalsa sovereign spiritual nation upon our shoulders. so that we may lighten his load so that his remaining time on this planet may be filled with peace and grace that may be filled with an understanding and a knowing that we have risen to the occasion to carry this burden we thank you for our children and for all of these businesses that we have built in thy name we thank you for the special blessing of having bbg as our guide also that teaches us through her sweetness and through her ways and through her devotion and dedication and example we thank you for all of the aspects in our lives that we may judge as good or bad so that we may learn to grow in thy light and in thy grace bless our children here and in india and throughout the world bless all of those this day who have left thee may thy hand of guidance and grace ever bless them we thank you for this opportunity to just be here as a sad sangat as a family to enjoy the richness and the nourishment that we receive from being in thine court on this day also we ask you to please bless set of jeet singh and kar who celebrate their 23rd anniversary please bless jeevan mukta singh of millis massachusetts may you return his body to full health to full mind and to full spirit may the hand of guru ramdas please bless him Please also bless our sister Sardarni Satya Kaur on her 40th birthday. May she continue to ever serve the Guru's mission with every breath and may she continue to be an inspiration and example to all of us. Guru Kalangar and Guru Prashad has been placed before thee and all the wishes through the dishes that have been blessed and have placed before thee. May thy loving hand and the sword of steel pass through them so that it may infuse the spirit of wishing and exalting everyone and wishing good to all thank you again for all of thy gifts for this breath of life for this way of life akurvara gata bochik maf karni sarvate karaj ras karne se pyari mil jinna miliam teranam chitave through the grace of guru nanak saith 
Exalt the self, and through the exalted self, be good to all. Nanakanam cherdikala tere bane sedabata kabala. Why get a ji ka kalsa? Why get a ji ki fate? Agia behea kala ki tabe chalaya opanta. Sava sikam ka hukame guru mani o granta. Guru granta ji mani o pargata gran ki de. Jo prabako milabo jehe ko jishabin mele. Raj kire ka kalsa akira he na koe. Kuado is sub a milling gay, but you shenan and Johoe. It arch get a kahalsa, a kira he na koe. Kuado is sub a milling gay, but you shenan and Johoe. Mole Sone. दर्शन परसी है गुरु के जन्म मरण दुख जाए हो वे सिफत खसामदी नूर यार सो कुर सो चट्टी है तुद डिठे सच्चे पातिशा माल जनम जनम दी कटी है सज्जन सच्चा पातिशा सिर शाहां दे शाहो जिस पास बैठे आ सोई है सबना दावी साहो सुही महला चौथा हर नामा हर रंग है हर रंग मजीठ है रंग गुरु तुट है हर रंग चाड़िया फिर बोर्ड ना हो भी पंग हर नामा हर रंग है हर रंग मजीठ है रंग गुर तुठे हर रंग चाड़िया फिर बोड़ न हो भी पंग मेरे मन हर नाम नाम कर रंग गुर तुठे हर उपदेशिया हर पेटिया राओ निसंग राओ मुंद यानी मन मुखी फिर आवन जाना अंग हर प्रभ चित नायो मन दूजा पाओ सलंग हम मेल परे दो चारिया हर राखो अंगी अंग गुरु अमृत सर नव लाया सब लाथे किल विक पंग हर दीना दीन दयाल प्रभ सत संगत मेलो संग मिल संगत हर रंग पाया जन नानक मन तन रंग हम मेल परे दो चारिया हर राखो अंगी अंग गुरु अमृत सर नव लाया सब लाथे किल विक पंग हर दीना दीन दयाल प्रभ सत संगत मेलो संग मिल संगत हर रंग पाया जन नानक मन तन रंग वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह सुही फोर्थ गुरु God's name is the love of God God's love is a fast color like matter being pleased, the Guru imbues with the Lord's dye, and it never fades again. My soul enshrines thou the love for the Lord God's name. God's name is the love of God. God's love is a fast color like matter. 
Being pleased, the Guru imbues with the Lord's dye, and it never fades again. My soul enshrines thou the love for the Lord God's name. Being mightily pleased, the Guru has instructed me in God, and God the King has doubtlessly met me. Pause. An ignorant apostate bride repeatedly comes and goes in existences. She contemplates not her Lord God. Her heart is attached with the love of another. I, an evildoer, am filled with filth. O Lord, my partisan, take thou my side. The Guru has bathed me in the tank of nectar, and all the scum of my sins is washed off. O God, Lord, merciful to the meek and poor, unite me thou with the saints' society. Meeting the saints' society, slave Nanak has obtained God's love, and his soul and body are imbued with the love. The Guru has bathed me in the tank of nectar, and all the scum of my sins is washed off. O God, Lord, merciful to the meek and poor, unite me thou with the saints' society. Meeting the saints' society, slave Nanak has obtained God's love, and his soul and body are imbued with the love. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki
Oh, God.